They move here and six months later they're an expert. And they're going to tear out all these screens. You guys ever see a love bug? Putting screen in and getting that rubber piece in that groove right there. I wish I did have it. That's all there is to that. It's all done. And right now they're all closed. You can probably hear a little echo in the room. Well, I guess that's it. Let's go inside. Easy peasy. I, I don't watch a lot of big ages when I'm driving. I don't know much about them. I have heard of them. I have seen them. I am the best driver here. <laughs> yeah, you could go in circles for days. And then you can sit out here, drink your wine. But this one's a little different than most there, there, wherever you want to put them. A speedometer and a gas gauge is all I need. <laughs> move here and six months later they're an expert. Whenever you're driving a car and you're going down any of these roads, what gauges do you watch on the dash? I, I don't watch a lot of the gauges when I'm driving. So really... I'm watching the road. Do you watch gas gauge? Yeah. So really in a car, the ideal car for you if we bought one and we have what custom made and have all these different gauges put in the car, custom made, would be a car that has a great big gas gauge in the dash and that's really all you need. A speedometer and a gas gauge is all I need. How do you like to have a job working in a roundabout around here? <laughs> That's taking your life in your own hands, working in a roundabout around here. Doing. I am the best driver here. <laughs> yeah, you could go in circles for days. I, I, we turn this around. There's our new local McDonald's. I ate there yesterday. Well, I really didn't. Sue got us a hamburger to go for lunch. Because this video is taking forever. What a mess that was. Was it? It was. I ordered uh, Big Mac meals. They give me quarter pounder meals. So they mess everything up and all this kind of stuff. Yeah, we need to pay them $15 an hour. <laughs> well, I said they were, you know, they were very good about making it right. It just took time. They should have not make it right at $15 an hour. It should well, always no. be right. I said, we know you're perfect. <laughs> yeah. Well, there they are. They're here. Yeah, that guy right there is the same guy that did ours. I, I don't remember his name, though. Well, today, I'm going to try to do some video on this lanai. They're going to come in today, and they're going to tear out all these screens and all this metalwork here, doors and all, and they're going to glass and close this lanai. I think it's going to have the, what I call, ceiling to floor sliders, like what I've got. Let's go in here and take a look. When you buy a home, this is pretty typical of your lanai. This person is not here right now, and so they moved everything up here so that the rainwater doesn't get on it. All the cushions are off the chairs here, because that's the problem you have on a hard rain. The rainwater comes in, and it just gets on everything. They'll be tearing all this stuff out, and I believe the doors or the glass enclosure is going to go from up here down to the floor here, and there'll be sliders. So I'm going to guess you're going to have probably two sliders, two sliders. I don't know if the door's going to remain here or if they're going to move the door elsewhere. I don't no. But anyway, it'd be two and two and a door, and I'm going to say probably three. Three, three, three sliders. So you can open it up all the way, or if it's raining outside or a little chilly, you can shut them. I also know in here, not today anyway, it'll be another day, and I'll try to get video of that too. They're going to put air conditioning out here, but it's going to be a little different. It's not going to be a, a what they call a mini split. <clears throat> it's going to mount up here in the ceiling, and I don't know how that works. So, I mean, I've heard of them, I've seen them, but I don't know how they install them. I don't know how well they work or anything about it. So, I'll try to get that video for you also. It's a fairly decent size lanai. It's got two fans. I think I've done video on that. When you see two fans, it's a bigger lanai one fan smaller lanai i have one fan so that's how you can tell a lot of times i have been in lanais here that had as many as four fans and those lanais are big my suggestion about lanais if you're wanting to buy a home and you're looking around has always been get the biggest lanai that you possibly can afford because lanai is some place that you'll use a lot especially a lanai like this because we have this view back here as you can see and my camera probably focus 
on the screen, you have, uh, I believe, yeah, I can see it. This is a practice putt area. I'm not sure what golf course is even around here, but that's all practice putt. <laughs> Well, they're here. They're tearing things down. As you can see, the screens are all out. There's a screen. Here's the new material here that they're going to use to uh, rebuild this and get ready for the uh, walls. They'll have to put, put it down here for the track for the rollers to roll in. And of course, at the top also. But they'll take all this off. I don't know where they're at. They might be taking a lunch. We're taking lunch. Sue brought us food. So there's the door. But that's what it looks like when they first get here. They start ripping out all the screens and they'll get rid of all this metal stuff here, all of it. And then they'll start rebuilding the whole thing, getting ready for the sliding doors. And with that being said, I think I'll get out of here and uh, wait for them to come back. I think they said they're going to finish up tomorrow. It's been raining, as you can see. They're done for the day. They'll be back sometime tomorrow to finish up. But here's the frames they've got built up so far, as you can see them there. And those frames will go inside each one of these holes. And it looks like the door is going to be in the center right there like it was before. There's a rail that will go down here on all these doors, a slide rail, and I don't know which, those. that's them. If you'll look, I don't want to walk out there, it's wet and I ain't got my shoes on. If you'll look at the far rails and then the bottom right there, hopefully this camera will pick it up. Can you see the different channels that the doors will be setting in to slide back and forth? That's what those are, all of them. And they'll go in here and that'll, that'll take care of that. And they'll also put a screen up too when they get done. That's, that's the last thing they do, it puts a screen in. On the so that's where we're at so far. I'll come back over tomorrow and hopefully I can get uh, at least pictures of the finished product. It's all basically the same. I've, I've taken pictures of this process here, what, three times now? Mine, my next door neighbors, and somebody else's. And this will be about the fourth time I've done this. This might be interesting for a lot of you. I want you to notice from there, as I go down, look how much thicker it gets. This is only on the sides. From there, it gets down narrow. That's because the uh, lanai floor here is slanted down that way for the water to run off when it comes in here. So to level the doors, that's what they've done. They have to cut that to make that difference up. From what I've seen, it looks good. We'll come back tomorrow and see about uh, see what the finishing process is and what the finishing product looks like. They'll bring the doors tomorrow. That's right. what I thought. Right. Yeah, once it gets the frames in, it goes pretty daggone quick. Well, yeah, that's true. But I just thought it would take a little bit longer than this. But, man, it looks good. Thanks. Well, the doors are in. The frames are all sitting out here yesterday, and now you can see the frames here. And here's the tracking right here I was talking about for the three doors, probably. Usually, that's what they go by three, three, and three, and then two, and two. And then tracking up here, and it's all sealed, as you can see. Hopefully, you can see that it's all been sealed for insects. And it keeps all that out. My only complaint about these doors when I had them installed, and I think it's a complaint, um, these latches here that lock the doors are plastic and if you don't pay attention you'll break them all I think I broke all mine already I wish they were made out of metal I'm gonna get a hold of them down there and find out if I can get some well, yeah these guys just came a long way they've done a really good job they got it sealed around the floor let me ask you a question real quick as a newbie yes sir you know, I've been down there and I know they have all different designs of where they can enclose a place like this. I like the floor to ceiling thing. Right. I mean, that's just my choice. Yeah. Which one do you think is the best down there? Honestly, I like these. They're, they're a lot easier than a lot of the most ones. Yeah. Um, I just like the fact that you can just open the whole thing up when you yeah. want to. Yeah, and then you got a wide open porch out here. I like the Yeah. Too, so. Now these are single pane, right? Yes, sir. 
gonna say, I, I, they asked me about double pane, and I went and looked at one. My God, they weigh a ton. Yes, they do. Yep. Is your boss over there treating you well? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so now that COVID is kind of over, it, I, I assume business is kind of picking up a little bit. We're getting material in more regular than before. Yep. We're steady. There was a little shortage. You know how long it took them to get this stuff here? From the time it was ordered to the time you showed up? Probably about four months. Hey, down there at their offices, you, you would probably know. I hate these latches. I got them on my, I broke every one of them already. Um, do they have a metal one down there? Those are metal. No, they're, they're not. These are, yeah they are. They're cast aluminum. Are they? Yeah, because you can bend them. Oh, Bow. okay. Mine, one time you try to straighten them, they break. Mine's all broke. I thought they were plastic. No, it's cast aluminum. Oh, so there's nothing to do but just replace them with what's original? Yeah, I'm sure if you got in touch with them, they need to. They have them down there? Can I go down there and just pick them up? Yeah. Okay. They should, uh, be I'll able. get a hold of them and go down there and get some. Yeah. See how they can separate without being latched? Yeah. Well, it's done. They're, they're cleaning up now. But all the screens are in, all the doors are in, everything. Well, they're not here, and I can make some noise. Let me show you these doors. So you can see how it works. You can have all the doors shut like this, keep the wind, the cold, rain out, or you can open up like that and open up the hole in the eye. I think it's a great little system. Okay, we're trying to finish this project up of enclosing the lanai's here. They're having a Mitsubishi electric air conditioner installed, but this one's a little different than most mini splits, so to speak. Today, that air conditioner would feel pretty good, but it's starting to kind of get the feel of fall in the air, but not much. It's in the 90s today. Here's the mini split they're putting in. It's actually installed in the ceiling. You know, most mini splits will be up on the wall, there, there, wherever you want to put them. I assume that box right there has something to do with it. I don't really know yet, but here's the mini split here up in the attic. And how it's gonna work, I don't know. They're not done installing it yet, but when I do get things done, we'll uh, test everything out and uh, I'll let you know what I think. Cause I'm gonna get a mini split, put in my lanai, but I'm actually seriously thinking about getting one that's a DIY so I can install it myself. Is that a mistake? I don't know. Haven't done it yet, but I'm thinking about it. They got all the doors open. That's the nice thing about these sliding doors, especially on a nice day. They got the doors open, they got the fans on, and on a day like today, it'd be nice to shut all these doors and turn that air conditioning on. I don't know if they blew insulation up there or not. I asked, and you know, just from what I can see when I peek up there, I don't see any insulation up there. Let me see if I can get my camera up there and we'll get a, get a peek up here. You guys can see anything or not i just stuck my camera up through the hole they moved everything out of the way everything's been cleaned up now and instead of having a mini split put in here because this is basically a square room it's not long and narrow like a lot it's a mini split but they install it up in the ceiling and that's it right there you might hear some wind because it is blowing toward me i do feel it there's a remote for it somewhere. I don't know where it is, it might be in the house. This up here is for the uh, humidity. I don't know where it's set, but it looks like it's set all the way to the right. Let me hold this up there. Wherever it's set, that's where they set it. I'll just leave it alone. I guess they could change it. But the thing that I don't like about that, I'm just telling you how I feel, there's no remote for that. 
So if you want to change that setting, and if you're a fairly short person, you're going to have to get a step ladder or something over here to reach up there and change that. Not a big deal for most people, but here's how I feel about it. This is a retirement community. People here are older, and I don't think older people should be standing on top of step ladders and stuff. That's just my opinion. This has got a remote for everything. I think temperature settings, uh, that little lever, or yeah, that lever right there, louver, whatever you want to call it. You can set the angle for that, for automatic and things. Filter goes in there. The drain line goes across the attic and over to this corner wall and out there. And that's where the water will drip. Matter of fact, if you look, you can see water just running out of that thing. Well, I might get a picture in a little bit. I got a question about that. You guys know that on my furnace, my air conditioner quit working here not too long ago. And um, I had to have a guy come out and look at it well the drain line from my air mover which is connected to the air conditioner you know for the water to drain out the the moisture well you're supposed to dump bleach down there i guess or something like that every i don't know six months or something so the mold from the water that goes through that pipe doesn't accumulate well i I failed to do that and it blocked the pipe. Once the water gets blocked off and ain't draining out, it backs up to a sensor. The sensor shuts everything off so you don't cause damage. My question about that line there that goes across the attic and down, how do you do that? How do you, how do you dump bleach down this line from up there? There's the line right there. And look at the water. It's pulling a lot of moisture out of the air. That water's just running out, not dripping out. It's running out. So it's doing its job. That's a simple question. I, I don't know. Maybe you don't need to do that on this system. I don't know that either, but I just think it's a question that if you're thinking about putting one of those in, it's a question that pops up in my mind uh, because you're in Florida. Mold can be a problem, especially in a wet area like that. It was on my air conditioner. So I don't know what you do about that. Maybe you don't have to do nothing. I just simply ask. Or maybe they've got a maintenance system where you can call them up and they'll come out and... Because if that water backs up, if mold blocks that pipe and that water backs up, my concern is, will it start leaking out of the ceiling? And if you've got a finished ceiling like I do, a plastered ceiling, that could cause damage. Just a thought, that's all. I'm not trying to make bad of it. But anyway, it's a very nice looking unit. Looks like it's working really well. You've seen the moisture running out. I think the system here will work good. They're gonna to have to get insulation up here on top to keep that heat from the roof coming down here. Once that's done, I think it's, uh, it'll make a nice addition to the house. So just taking a little pan for the final look from having the enclosure put in, the sliding doors. Sliding doors go from, well, I say ceiling, but you're only up there down to the floor. The new door, new style of door. Split air conditioner installed. You know what's coming next, right? We're gonna have to get a tile floor or something out here. <laughs> well, thanks for following us on this little journey. I know it's gonna be a long video, but this is gonna be something that I think a lot of people is gonna to wanna to see. And I know you're gonna ask me, how much? Listen, you're gonna to have to call these companies and get that to yourself, because every lanai is different. They're shaped different, they're different sizes everything and that really has a lot to do with the price you're going to have to talk to them with that being said i'm going to end the video right here and i'll see you all on the other side